The Elevate Bridge Locating Jig makes it easy to repeatedly locate a bridge based on the scale length of your instrument. The jig self-centers on the neck and hooks to the end of the fingerboard for quick indexing. The business end of the jig has a sliding mechanism with adjustable fingers that make it simple to place a bridge on right-handed, left-handed, and even multi-scale instruments. The bridge locating jig can be used with most common saddle slot widths using the conical side of the adjustment fingers. If you prefer to cut your saddle slot after the bridge has been glued on, use the straight side of the fingers to reference the front edge of the bridge. I've got a guitar ready for bridge placement. I tend to do this step after the finish has been applied and buffed. For that reason, I place tape on the edge of the neck to protect the finish. The first thing I'm going to do is set the angle of the bridge based on my saddle slot. I like to leave one adjustment finger tied up against the slider. This helps to ensure accurate indexing of the jig for future bridge placement. I then move the other finger out and check that the bridge is square to the rail of the jig. Once it's set, lock the second finger in place. Now it's time to set the scale length. My preferred method is to measure from the nut. You can use whatever method you prefer. Once you're happy with the scale length setting, place the jig on the neck and center it with the articulating clamps, ensuring the hook end is touching the nut end of the fretboard. Move the slider until the fingers are touching the bridge on either the front edge or in the saddle slot. Then lock everything in place with the large knob. There are lots of ways to center the bridge. My favorite method is to set it based on the string path. To do this, use a piece of string and run it from the edge of the fretboard to the outside string locations on the bridge. Measure the distance from the string to the edge of the fretboard and adjust the bridge laterally to achieve the desired string path. The bridge is now set. From here, I'll remove finish and then be able to glue on the bridge. If you plan to use this same scale length on future builds and are happy with the placement of the bridge, you can save the slider's location to use again later. Using the two hardened drill bushings in the slider, drill through the jig with an eighth inch drill bit. Then make a note on the jig of the scale length of the marker. The next time you use the jig for the scale length, simply drop the included pins through the bushings into the holes you drilled and your scale length is set. The Elevate Bridge Locating Jig simplifies the task of bridge placement with its quick indexing system Get yours today at elevatelutheri.com.